Hello, this is Dost Assange with Cypher Cloud Professional Services, and welcome to our Chalk Talk. Today I'm going to talk about Cypher Cloud for Box and how we enforce certain policies that a corporation may have when files are uploaded to the cloud. In this example, we are actually using an end user within the internal network, and they're going to upload files from their uh, desktop to the Box Cloud application. They have a designated folder and that file is uploaded to the Box Cloud. Now a corporation may have certain policies that any files going into, or I should say, into a cloud application like Box or out of their corporate network needs to have additional inspection. And in this case, where they're going to use Cypher Cloud for Box, and a customer came to us and said, we want to have additional inspection on that file to check if it's OK. There's no viruses or any other type of uh, malicious behavior associated to that file. And we want to do a scan. So the first step that we introduced, that when a file is uploaded to the Box cloud application, it actually initiates a scan trigger. This could be event-based. It could be time-based, again, based upon the corporate policy for that trigger. That customer then had that file transferred to another hosted cloud where our Cypher Cloud for Box application was resident. We then take step number two, based upon the corporate policy, we scan. The level of scanning is defined by the corporation. And based upon the results, we do a delete, quarantine, archive, things of that nature in line with the corporate policy. Once the results are in place, we then transfer a known good file back to that folder and we send a notification to the admin or user or both, again, depending upon the corporate uh, requirements for step number three. So that end user took advantage of our cloud positioning for Box because we could scale up additional instances if volume was an issue. We had another customer that they had a different security posture. They had more stringent controls in place and they wanted to maintain the Cypher Cloud for Box footprint within their corporate network. So here I've depicted it where in scenario B, the Cypher Cloud for Box is actually located within the server tier or within the internal local area network and that provides an additional layer of security for when the scanning and the notification take place. The same workflow is followed and then the results are then uh, provided back to the folder with the file and notification sent to end users or to the admin box. The third scenario is where you may have a little more flexibility in where you position Cypher Cloud for Box, may not have a stringent uh, server location requirement, and in those cases we had a customer place Cypher Cloud for Box within the DMZ. The same steps hold true, but in this case as you'll note, the third communication in the scenario C is to the Cypher Cloud for Box within the DMZ. Again, flexibility for either a hosted cloud application location, a DMZ, or within the internal network. But the triggers, the policy, and the notification hold true in each one of those locations. Thank you for your time and thank you for your attention.